do, what it do, what it do. Okay, today, today, mm. we're going to talk about urgent cares versus emergency rooms. Yeah, so there's a lot of things. There are so many things that go under that topic in general. Like, number one, you need to know when to go to the ER and not urgent care. You cannot come to the urgent care talking about some, yeah, I've been bleeding for the past week. Bitch, what? Bleeding from where? It depends, though. It depends on... Yeah, you're right. It depends, because I depends. was using urgent care for bleeding so much, and I was perfectly fine. You know what I think it is? I think what we're really trying to say is, like, if you're near death, like, we can't save you. We can't give you a blood transfusion. We can't do a mm -hmm. CT scan. We can't do... Do we do ultrasounds in urgent care? We don't do that. Mm -hmm. And if they have a radiology department next door... Next door. But is that, like, likely? Yes, because mine has a, a radiology department right next door. I don't right remember, like, door. the past couple that I've worked at having an urgent care, like, next door to a radiology department. Mine does, but I think that may be rare. But even then, we still don't do ultrasounds. They would at an urgent person. care? Yeah, no. We or, like, you're having door. contractions. Emergency room. Don't come to the ER. I'm the urgent care for that. <laughs> or, like, a dismembered body part. Don't use... The urgent care as primary. Don't use it as a primary. Yes. I had a patient yesterday come in there for lab review of labs. She had her blood work done and she wanted to review those labs. You Something need... she could send an email or a message to through a portal. She came to urgent care for that. And then you can talk to your primary care. Yes. You can take those results to your primary care. You we don't do follow up at urgent care. No follow unless we seen them in urgent care. We did like a little small procedure, and that doctor wanted to follow up to see how it's healing. That's cool, but like follow ups just to see in general about something that had nothing to do with something that's urgent. Don't do it. Don't come through. Mm -mm. Talking about some, I just want to talk about my labs. Mm -hmm. You can talk about that with your primary care so that you guys can do a continuum of care. Yes. I, but you want to know another thing? Doctors that be wanting to do emergency room procedures in the urgent care. What would be considered an emergency a room? A blood transfusion. Yeah. I never had that issue though. Right, so. yes we did. When we Ooh. were working at that place, you know who I'm talking about. I don't. Yo, they were... I may were... have been off that day. No, it's always the same doctor that be wanting to do emergency care because they used to work in an emergency room. They're like, oh yeah, we can handle it. No. What doctor was that though? We, we can't say it now. I'm like, whispering in my ear because I don't know which doctor you're talking about. It's. I forgot all about him. Yo. Oh shit, I forgot about him. Yeah, I do remember him, but I don't remember that scenario. Though. Bruh, he wanted to do every, like perform mm -hmm. surgery in there. I'm like, yo, that's a gaping wound. You need to send them out. I don't think I was there for that because I would have for sure remembered that because I would have been like, what the fuck? We don't have that shit here. We, we don't, don't have, have a blood bank. We don't We don't even get emergency because we have to check their blood type. I'm sure you have to check blood type. Yes, of that. course you do. Of course you do. We don't even do. have emergency <laughs> stat labs where we could see the results. And that's another thing. That's another thing that they come in there expecting. Like They'll be like, can you draw my labs and tell me X, Y, Z? Like, what, you know, how much longer? No, bro. No, 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 that's no. That's not how that works. And th there is no how much longer do I have to wait. You need to go home. You will get the results yes. via a portal. Five to seven days. Days. <laughs> they if be you mad want, too. yes. They be mad. They be like, it's going to take that long? Yes. It's I not can't an emergency room. Do... If you want immediate results, go to the emergency room. They have stuff stat. That's why everybody's there so long because they be waiting for it. They the want results stat right in results. Yes. They want it right away. Yes. First of all, if something's really that bad with you, you don't need to be here. If you need to know the results that quickly, you don't need to be here. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be in the urgent care. You don't. Like, I remembered my brother telling me that he got into an accident at work, and I was, I just kept on saying, like, you just have to pick the right urgent care to go to so that they can do, like, a, an evaluation of mm -hmm. you. And all my mom kept on saying was, just go to the ED because I want them to go straight to that CT scan. Like, yeah. that was a direct hit to the head. They need to make sure that there isn't anything else going on internally. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be able to determine that at the urgent care. Yeah. And it just gets so frustrating because when you do go to the emergency room, yes, you will get results quick enough, but you're still going to be waiting for a long time to even be mm -hmm. seen. Mm -hmm. If they have determined that this is not an emergency situation... 
then it's okay. But you're camping out. At least out. you know, like, at least you know that you're going to get your results that same day. It might be a couple hours from now, but you're going to get your results. Several Urgent hours Care is going to do that. You know, I still, I have access to Urgent Care and Emergency Room, like, on the board where I can see patients and what they're coming in there for. Mm -hmm. I've seen that the ER had someone in, in there for a UTI. You don't need to go to the emergency room for a UTI. You don't need to go to the emergency room for a sore throat. You don't need to go yeah. to the emergency room for a back ache, a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. You don't need the ER for that. Possibly stuff. a broken limb because yeah. they can splint at urgent cares. Yeah. But um, we're still going to send you to, we still have to send you out to a specialist. You still have to get an x ray. We still have to see if you need surgery. Well, that that would be taken care of anyway. Because if you could go to the ER, they're gonna they can't do that there anyway. Right? They still can't. They still have to have a yeah, specialist. So urgent cares will will be fine with like a broken arm, a fractured arm, yeah, like any um, sprains and stuff. We can do we can deal with those. And then they like take care of the orthopedic like referral. That's not an emergency situation. You can wait to take care of the referral as long as we splint it. Like you're not gonna die. Well. Generally speaking, <laughs> you're not going to die from a broken limb mm -hmm. unless it's like severed your skin and you're bleeding to death. But that's a, you know, a special situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that just also goes into like certain things that doctors want to do in an urgent care for the sake of pleasing the patient instead of just saying, we don't do that here. Like they try to create the like. The environment, like, bro, we still don't. Then they going the patient's gonna get even more mad because then the doctor's gonna come to me to do all these things, and I'm gonna tell them we don't do that. And I'm, we don't I will do literally that tell them I'm not doing this because it's not what we do here. And not even that, like, they don't understand that we physically can't do it. We don't have the resources, so they'll get salty mm -hmm. with us and be like, I don't understand why we the can't. The doctor just... said the nurse. Can... I don't care what the doctor said. I said I don't do this. We don't do it, and it's not even like the patient getting mad. The doctor's getting mad, like. What do you mean we don't do this here, you bro? You know we don't do this. You, you know. The lab. You know. We don't have those resources here, bro. Like, it goes back to what you were saying about the blood bank. Where do you want me to get the blood from, son? Mm. Mm. Where do you want me to... Well, we can at least stabilize. Stabilize how? Stabilize With how? With what? With what? I don't think at that particular place we could... Oh, no, we could start IVs there, but... It was rare. No, yeah, we started IV. Sometimes we gave fluids, like maintenance fluids, uh -huh. but that was it. Like we couldn't go much. It was than very, that. very rare that we did that though. And that's why I'm like, we can't even stabilize by putting the IV in the arm. But no, unless we we're sending them straight over to the ED, like mm -hmm. the ER. Like, go ahead and start the IV. We're getting EMS or EMT to come get you to take you up. Yeah. Like, other than that, like. I feel like that people have too much faith in urgent cares. Like you can go to the urgent care for a small ting. Like you can go to the urgent care to get STI testing. Mm -hmm. You can go to the urgent care to go get tested for what, like strep and yeah, get flu. antibiotics for yeah, flu, COVID, mm -hmm. antibiotics for a UTI that you think you might have, like mm -hmm. an yeast infection. There's yeah. so many other smaller scale things, and. I feel like it'll help like if you're panicking about something and you need some sort of reassurance like uh, usually a physician at the urgent care will be like bruh I'm gonna be honest with you in my years of experience of seeing this this is not it's not what you think it is like mm -hmm. you're you're fine but I I get stressed out bruh like when I see the doctor come to me and tell me like yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, start an IV and try to see if we can do ketamine or you know like we're gonna start an IV and see if we can do some conscious sedation to see if we can relocate this shoulder. <laughs> you wanna do what? Right now? In the middle of the day when there's 27 patients still waiting to be seen? It's an urgent care, they're gonna be waiting anyway. <laughs> right, and that's exactly why we can't do these bigger procedures, yeah. these bedside surgeries. Yeah. I will say though, I loved seeing stitches. Like I loved when they oh, yes, I still do. I love it. Stitches and those Dr. Pimple Popper type procedures. I just had one yesterday. But it was oh my God, that same doctor that I mentioned earlier. Mm. It was like a fat ass cyst in the back. And she had to keep on coming weekly to get it like drained. And this final time, like it was drained enough to where we can like extract the capsule. Mm -hmm. So the capsule, once you take that out, you're eliminating or at least significantly reducing the chances of that same abscess forming in the same spot. Mm -hmm. And he was like really in there like trying to dig that out. And I remembered there was another, um, somebody else was in the room. I don't remember who it was. Mm -hmm. 
But either way, they were getting queasy, and I'm over there like, bro, this is insane. Queasy? For yeah. What? Well, so you know how some people are. Mm -hmm. Some people get really like, I'm sure people watching this are sitting here thinking like, you enjoy that? I sure do enjoy it. Like, I like Dr. Pippa Popper. And if I know that somebody's going to get something trained, I'm the first one to be like, I'll I set it up. Love I'll it. it. I'll set up the lab train. But this is why, like, these are the things that you... It's not strange for someone in the medical profession to say they like these kinds of things, mm -hmm. you know? It's interesting. It is very interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyways, don't go to the ER if you know you don't have to. And don't come to the urgent care expecting a blood transfusion. Wait a minute. Okay, so I, this is a real life scenario. There was this, well, this patient that came into the urgent care. She was, four, she was bleeding for four weeks, but she was pregnant for four weeks as well. And I'm like, how was that pop? Like, I don't know. She was still pregnant? And she no, was she bleeding? was four weeks pregnant, but she was bleeding for four weeks at the same time. Wouldn't that just be her period or something? For four weeks? Yes. I don't know. It was so weird. Like, it was she so was weird bleeding every was, day for the past four she weeks. She was bleeding for four weeks, but she was pregnant for four weeks as well. So I'm like, I'm She confused. was simultaneously bleeding while pregnant. Yes, at the same time frame. Like, I, it was confusing to me. I don't know. See, I know I'm not tripping. I thought I was tripping. I mean, like, the first thing I thought was she must be miscarrying, bruh. That's what I would have thought if she wasn't bleeding for the entire four weeks, being pregnant four weeks. I thought maybe she would have been bleeding for two weeks and then she was four weeks pregnant. And I would have been like, oh, okay, she, may, she might be miscarrying. But it was at the same time. So I'm like, I'm confused. Y'all, tune in for next week's episode. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining. We talk about some more ish. Drop a comment, subscribe, mm -hmm. hit the bell. Sayonara. Adios. Mm -hmm.